feel the one shall be taken and the other left. Two women shall be grinding at the mill. The one shall be taken and the other left. Watch therefore, for you know not for the hour in the Lord that comes. Okay, so Two women shall be grinding at the mill. The one shall be taken, the other left. Two women grinding at the mill. The one taken, one taken the other, other left. left. Okay. That means to say, let's talk about the evidence of a preparation. I'm gonna sh share my stand first. Kasi aware ako sa most sa mga Pentecostals is post-tribulationism. Okay? Kasi mean, they, they believe the rapture is post-tribulationism. Though there's no uh, pagdadaan sa tribulation yung mga saints. I'm gonna share, I'm, what I'm gonna state is all three exist. Of course, there's the pre-trib, mid-trib, post-trib. The pre-trib exists and, and the proof is that everything is alright. The mid-trib exists because of the two prophet ministry. You're familiar with that? The post-trip, mamaya babasahin pa natin yun. Matthew chapter 24. Pero itong binasa natin, why do I use it as a proof? You cannot be grinding the wheel in post-tribulation na. Because the world is devastated. Uh, the world is destroyed. There's no economy. You couldn't be walking joy jolly sa sidewalk na yan. Everything is <laughs> parang daga ang buhay dito. Very horrendous, no? So, that picture shows a type. In Luke 17, Christ uh, referenced Noah, referenced Lot. Diba? They were able to escape. That's rapture. How about Lot? Dumag, bago dumating apoy, the angels pulled them out. The same thing with the saints. Before the terrible thing happened on earth, may darating na escape. Meron pang ang word sa revelation, the escape, the time of great trial that is to come upon you. Okay? So, um, let's move dun sa Matthew 24, I'm saying post revelations. Matthew 24, let's open. Ay, nasa 24 na pala tayo. Binabasa natin verse 40. Akit lang tayo sa 29. Excuse me, pwede naman. So, yung tinutukoy ko yan, yung church. That's the church. Yes. There's two kinds of church. The church that will be raptured, the yeah. church that will be left behind. The church that will be raptured will be a perfected church. Yeah. Um, siguro sa future fellowships natin, tatalakayin ko yung per perfection message. Meron kasi natin natin na restoration to the original. Tapos meron mga deep mysteries yung bubukas for the perfection. Yung mga ayaw magpa-restore at mag mag proceed to for, ano, uh, message for perfection, they will be left behind. Pero yung open, yung berean, attitude, they will be perfected. Uh, they will be taken out. Okay, um... Let's be about the Church of Philadelphia. They will never... Be. It's like this, let uh, Church Age, let's... Are you familiar with the Church Ages? Seven Church Ages? Okay. The Philadelphia Church Age is a period of time na kung saan nagkaroon ng malaking open door sa US. Ang US, ka, ka independent lang yan. At ginamit siya na nakataka sa Europe. Europe naging beast siya na wounded head eh. Gera, patayan. Catholics versus Protestants. Pero yung mga pilgrims nag-escape sa US, naka-find sila ng freedom. At nagamit na yung US para ikalat yung gospel. So, the Philadelphia Church Age is the period of time na Great Awakening sa Amerika. Magaganda pa. Iba na kasi ngayon eh. Churches are denominated. Sarado ang isip. Parang nakabakot. Noon, wala pa silang bakot. Meron mga attitude na Nicolaitan, pero hindi ganun kalala. So, yan ang great open door during that time. Dito sa panahon natin, papunta na sa tribulation, this love, this year. People have their own katwirat. Like, law is lady. This year, yung 
katwiran nila. Bawat tao may kanya-kanyang katwiran. Okay. Since bawat tao may kanya-kanyang katwiran, ano yun? Papunta na to sa tribulation. Meron konting element of people lang kukunin dito. Okay, uh, let's go to verse 29, pakibasa. Tapos palitan na lang. 24, 29. Yes. Acts 24, 29. Immediately after the tribulation of those days, shall but the sun be darkened, and the moon shall not give her light. The stars shall fall from heaven, and the powers of the heavens shall be shaken. So, uh, when the moon, uh, what we were reading is a scenario sa tinatawag na uh, after the tribulation of those days. Verse 30. 30 first. Okay. And then shall appear the son, son of man in heaven. And then shall all the tribes of the earth mourn. And they shall see the son of man coming in the clouds of heaven with power and great glory. And he shall send his angels with great sound of the trumpet. And they shall gather together his elect from the four winds from one end of the heaven to the other. Okay. So, um, yung sinabi dyan na he will gather all the morning. morning. He will gather all the elect from the four corners of the earth post tribulation is after the tribulation of those days he will gather his elect and last verse now we're gonna read about the Old Testament saints buksan natin ang Bible natin Matthew chapter 24 27 verse 51 rent in twain from the top to the bottom and the earth did quake and the rocks rent. Okay, uh, 52. 52. And the graves were opened and many bodies of the saints which slept arose. Came out of the grave after his resurrection and went into the holy city and appeared unto many. Itong mga nabuhay sa patay, Old Testament saints, sabi ni Elie Soriano, ma- namatay ulit sila eh. <laughs> Parang nabuhay lang katawan, namatay ulit, pinatay ulit. Pero in reality, I'm gonna show you, when Christ ascended up to heaven, He led captivity captive. Ephesians chapter 4 verse 8. Diba? Ephesians chapter 4 verse 8. So meron ng tao sa langit ngayon? Meron, kasi sabi ng Bible, diba? He led captivity captivity. May mababasa kayo, pagbalik ni Christ, may kasama siya, di ba? Sa Jude and Revelation, when Christ comes back, it's 10,000 of his things. Di ba may batch yan eh? First phase, second phase, third phase. Ang Pentecostal, medyo hindi siguro aware sa mga differences na doon. Pakibasa, uh, Ephesians chapter 4 verse 8. And when he said, when he ascended up on high, he led captivity cap- captive and gave gifts unto men. Okay, so um, when he led captivity captive, that's the time he led the Old Testament saints out. Okay, so mag question answer na lang tayo. No? Tas, so, more lang na ulak siya dito. <laughs> Pero okay lang. Atin yan. Um, mag question answer tayo afterwards. Uh, let's pray for the food. Tapos, uh, ano, interaction. Interaction lang tayo.